finding the right literature and then building a relationship between the literature about any topic of your any kind of a research document is definitely a very time taking task you should know the structure of a literature review before moving forward to gathering the data and evaluating the data and then building a relationship between the information you collect from that data nowadays with the help of a lot of ai tools the process of literature collection and to evaluating the literature and then to find the related information from the literature have been easy and a fast process but the problem is again that for a newbie to understand the structure of a literature review and what is the process how to start your literature review chapter is a big question and this is the most asked question on my platform that how a one person with the no experience in his research topic can start writing about the literature review and can evaluating the related information from that literature review this video is going to give you a breakdown about the structure of a literature review about the tools which are going to help you in this process and then we will see that approximately for what kind of a research document how many pages of literature review are required or ideal number of pages of a literature review so stay tuned and if you are new at this place i'm dr rizwana helping students who are in research and academia to be fast and more professional in their academic writing by my videos you can find a lot of videos regarding research writing and how to develop your research methodology in my research methodology and ai in academia playlist and you can also visit my website www.scientificpakistan.com where i am providing you one on one mentorship and a lot of customized services which are necessary to make your process of academic writing fast all the related links are available in the description box what are the free tools from where you can get the literature according to your keyword and how you have to evaluate them that either this research paper is related to your query you have to put them in your literature review list or not for that purpose you can use a lot of ai tools the first platform to find the literature is the sourcely as the name indicates this platform has been specifically designed to find the sources according to your research query from the literature you can customize your queries by uh, limitizing the publication years by giving its limit of citation you want in your paper the minimum number then you can put the keywords you want to include and put the keywords you don't want to include in your research results and after pressing the filter you will come up with the ideas so here are the uh, research results with our key terms we want and we can even download the pdf file from the same interface if we go to the paid version of the sourcely and we can see the summary and can also visit the source of uh, of the paper so there are multiple ai tools also available to find the literature which are free for example you can take the benefit from size space from uh, circularity from uh, semantic scholar from research tablet from connected papers but i'm going to tell you a platform about which i talked earlier that is the lit map here you not only find the literature from your uh, related queries you can build a relationship between them and you can build a map of the connected papers and you can also build your own uh, library of the references which you can use literally uh, for your researchers for as you can see i have my own library with the green solvents with the ionic liquids and you can just put the keyword over here this platform will come with the different research paper related to your query and on a single click that paper will be added on your paper here you can find the detail of the citations and the references also so if we uh, press the seed and we give the query to litmap it will show us the most related paper to our research query and by selecting any of the research paper with the maximum citations we can generate seed map according to our requirement according to that of that specific research paper that is most related to our research query and just by clicking any research paper that research paper will appear over here with dio with the abstract and with the related uh, citation details we can 
download this paper from here and we can move forward for the further evaluation now when you have collected the data and you you can um, you can even use a google scholar for that purpose google scholars you can also customize your queries by selecting the years by selecting the date or by selecting the type of articles and in the same way your ai extensions if, if you have a site that will show you the citation of that research paper on the same interface and even you can use scrubber citations to find the citation of that research paper and co-pilot citation to chat with that paper just by clicking on the button and here you can ask 12 plus questions about that specific research paper to find the answer and to evaluate that research paper after getting the literature and get the, gathering all the data from the literature about your research topic this is the point that you should know that what kind of information you should extract from these those research papers and how you have to build the connection and what are those key points where you have to be critical while reading those research papers so first of all when you are writing your literature you just have to go through the introduction part of the research papers and you have to write the introduction part of your research document you are going to provide the broader view of your uh, specific research topic in this specific section and after talking about some generic information of that topic you will go and see the background and methods the have been used in the past means for example if your work is to modify the methods which have been used in the past study and you are working on the methodologies your main focus will be on the methods which have been used in past in the literature to bring these kind of studies in this in the same way you will specifically focus on the evaluation of that problem you are going to address in your research question so when you are gathering the data when you are looking at the background of your subject you should to be specific about the point about the studies you are going to focus on for example i am focusing on the medicine used of amidazole based ionic liquids then after, before talking about the uh, ionic liquids definitely my focus will be specifically the use of amidazole based ionic liquids in the medicine and I will talk specifically and this is a very broader term definitely I will uh, I will specify this about a specific kind of a medicine and a specific kind of ionic liquid and in more specific terms in a more specific way I will talk about the relationship between them and been done on them and then you will categorize the literature when you are breaking down when you are going downward then you uh, will break down your literature either year wise or either theme wise for example this group group of people have worked on this kind of amidazole based ionic liquids and this group of people have worked on this kind of amidazole based ionic liquid and this group of people have worked on this specific medicine so you have a theme one theme two theme three theme four uh, four themes of a literature and you gather the data from each theme and now you have your own conclusions you have your own discussions so you will discuss that in this era of a time or this specific group of people work on bisbenzamidazoles and explore the application of uh, this specific group i'm talking about the NSAIDs or NSAIDs and this group of people work on this specific amidazole based tannic liquid and they find the result in this way so theme one theme two theme three theme four will be the main focus of my discussion and at this point i will relate my research problem with the research gap this is the point where i have to relate the research gap with my research problem and i have to move forward towards the conclusions and i will talk about my research questions and then the solutions outcomes or objectives of my study so this is definitely very hectic task and how you have to define those specific research questions research objectives and research problems and how you have to come up with the fine idea of the literature review in your specific topic at this point ai tools are going to help you and you can even take help from the chat gpt you will go to chat gpt and ask chat gpt to write a literature review structure about the application of amidazole based ionic liquid in medicine and here you will come up with the detailed list of the titles and subtitles which you just have to keep in mind while you are working on literature writing 
for example you first have to go towards the introduction of imidazole based ionic liquids you will define them and you will talk about the properties of the ionic liquids specific characteristics of imidazole based ionic liquid to medicinal application and biological activity and all that and toxicological consideration of safety profiles and this is this is the thing this is the finest thing on which you can work you just have to copy it paste in your google docs and start working on each heading and subheading you even can take the benefit of free version of you can even take the benefit of free version of jani ai to build the outline of your any kind of a research document and you will press the new doc and paste your query and will check the outline builder of jani ai and jani ai will come up with the professional outline of your literature review medicinal potential of imidazole based ionic liquid imidazole based ionic liquid a new frontier in medicine chemistry medicine science the role of imidazole based ionic liquids in healthcare innovation the therapeutic application of imidazole based ionic liquid imidazole based and all that so after building a strong outline of your research document this is the time where you need to write your research uh, literature review and to write the literature review definitely you can take the help of uh, outline you have built and you just copy this outline you can take the help of gen ai or you can take the help of uh, uh, purple lexit ai that is also the free tool we will ask it to exploring the medicinal importance of imidazole based ionic liquids purple lexit ai come up with the references and here you will find the science direct science direct uh, and uh, nih so all the references which purple lexit is suggest to you according against that data will be from the literature from the authentic literature or from the web links you can use uh, some pay tools like jan ai or site.ai to write the literature or any kind of a research document when you open the site ai you can access it in a very you can access it with the 50% discount given in the link below and you will press the assistance option of site ai and here you will paste your query and site ai will come up with the literature and with the research queries this tool have run to bring the literature results in front of you with the list of references which site have consult while bringing that information so these are the this is the information exploring the explore, explore the medicinal potential as a base and it is essential to consider their diverse application and properties imidazole based ionic liquids have been highly highlighted for the five application and medicinal used and all that and if we just click on the reference we can access it even from here and just by just clicking uh, the site we can have the detailed citation with the dio clickable dio we just have to copy the citation and we can put it in our google docs or any file on which we are working so site and jan ai and other tools are making your writing process in easy but these two are not the ultimate solution definitely when you are looking at the research gap when you are linking your research gap with your research problem and you are talking about your research ob objective your manual effort is required at this point you cannot depend on these tools at this stage they help you to find the data to evaluate the data to write some kind of a basic information for you but when, but when the point come to uh, to do some technical work and to prove the quality of your research proposal or your research document and then your manual research your manual effort is required now let's to the last point of the video that uh, uh, how many pages are required in uh, each kind of a research document for any kind of assignment mostly one to five pages of research uh, literature review is required for undergrad thesis this number varies from 5 to 15 pages and for master thesis this number varies from 15 to 30 or even 50 pages it all depends upon the type of topic on the requirement of the uh, department or any kind of limitations which you have while submitting your document but this is the ideal number which you have to follow while writing the literature review chapter of any kind of your research document i hope so this video help you to find the literature and write the literature and to understand the structure of a literature in a better way if you have any kind of a problem while using ai tool while writing your research document you can ask in the comment section or even you can visit us at the web link given in the description below where i am available to help you to assist personally we'll see you in another video till then take care of yourselves bye bye